are the mentally retarded? About 800,000 with disabilities are unemployed even though they're able to work. In most communities, ambulance crews will not handle disturbed people. Unemployment for the disabled is discouraging. And speaking of jobs, most people, if they believe they are able to perform any useful work at all, probably think of them only in terms of the most simple manual operations. It is estimated that one million with a disability can't find work. They told her to get out. Their ability to learn will vary according to the training, experience, and personal dedication of the teacher. They claim the DOJ is looking into whether the school violated the Federal Disabilities Act. People with physical handicaps get to be even President of the United States. Uh, I don't know what I said. Uh, I don't remember. When a policeman gets hurt handling a mentally disturbed person, it's mostly because he has tried to handle the whole deal by himself. Feel their nut sacks. Yeah. What? Yeah, roids. Turns your testiculars into tiny packing peanuts. Why do you know that? There's no good answer. You know, forget to ask. Okay. Gentlemen. Nice outfit. Now, do you prefer Darth or the more formal Mr. Vader? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, outfit's so black. You could have a civil rights protest in your pants. <laughs> Jerome, it's fine. Welcome to Los Angeles. We're here to help you. Yeah. And why should I trust you? Well, you shouldn't, because we're criminals. But I want you to know, just trust that you can trust us. I never trust trusting people. I'm not a truster. Well, this guy can write greeting cards. Now that we're all nice and snuggly, are we gonna do this? Yeah, he's right. Let's get to business. Deal's off. Because of a couple of mild insults? My God, we got a drug dealer with a self-esteem problem. If you want, we can pay in hugs. <laughs> <laughs> the deal's off. Come on, the truck is right there, waiting to get turned into money. Let's do this. Whoa! See, I don't see a truck. I see cops. The hell are you babbling about? Todd Parker, LAPD. Now, I didn't find anything on you. But that don't mean you ain't a piggy, too. You do have trust issues. Your stepmama should have breastfed you. Nobody move. Mother You're a cop? You're a goddamn cop? What are you... Now. That's eight shots. That means I got just enough to double tap you in that pleather jacket. What now? You're a cop. Oh, you're crazy. Either way, that's bad for business. That's what now. Torch it. Oh, no. No! 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 Captain, arrest me right now. What? You gotta arrest me right now. They got cameras all over this place. You can make it look good. Fowler, it's over. They're gone. I'm sorry, Captain. Oh! 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 Hey, great, 
Captain, rough me up. You gotta rough me up right now. Perfect, that's it. I'm warning, guy, if you're gonna kick him in the backup singers. Sorry, Captain. I was trying to not blow cover like dumbass here. How is he? How is he? He's shot, you piece of shit! I want him gone. Y you're out, Fowler. I already called my union rep. You're really? out. Is that what you did? Fowler! Okay, fine. Let's talk about the master undercover officer in front of us. You suck so bad, they had a folder on you. They had your email, they had your prostate measurements, which you should probably check again while your head is still up your ass. They had your address, they had your phone number, they had your ex-girlfriend's sexual preference. And you know what? It ain't you. I saved your life tonight. You're lucky that I shot you in the leg and the vest instead of the head. Y you wanna go? You, I'll kill you right here, you piece of shit. Bring it. Let me get up there. I'll on. kill you, Anytime. you son of a bitch. Anytime. Yeah, let's do this. Fall That's right here. I'm at a oh, soccer game. It. Oh, I'm you got it. Yeah, watch this. Let's let's do it. It. Hey. What the hell is wrong with you? What? Right. Not for this. Outside. Oh. I can't do this anymore. Well, then find me a decent partner. Well, that's a tall order, Fowler, because you're a violent, arrogant douchebag that thinks about nothing but himself. I like puppies. There's no one left. If I put you in parking enforcement, you'd get shot by a meter maid. That baby wasn't mine. What? She slept with anybody who had a nice car. You got a meter maid pregnant? You didn't know that. That cutie that works the beach in Santa Monica? Michaela? Monster Michaela? She's as big as me. Well, just Michaela, sir. And she has a thyroid thing, like you. I'm aggravated by a cheesecake thing, like you. You really are a low life. Sir, what about my car? It's 35 grand. <laughs> sir, am I on the precinct's insurance or not? I'm gonna need something from you guys. Go fuck yourself, father. I can't do it. Say it's a demo. It's not. That's why you say it, because that fight with your wife was assault. But in my report, I said it wasn't. Garrett, she chased me with a bat. And she fell on the stairs and got hurt, which again, with my testimony, would totally be seen as assault. She was drunken on Molly she got from her new girlfriend. Well, that means she's part of the LGBT community, which makes her a hero. But it also means that you committed a hate crime. Oh my god. I feel a tear coming on it. Don't cry, Garrett. Hold it back, Garrett. Save it for the jury. Go on and shake your money, baby. Baby, I'm a sinner. All I've done's wrong. Everybody clap your hands. Sing a simple song. Whiskey and spills, and we all get along. But Louis, keep it real. Take a hit from the ball. Do it for the rich food all night long. Three times a day, the easy like Sunday morning. Garrett? Garrett? Garrett. Wow. 
How's it going, sexy? It's Madam Mayor. Madam Mayor sexy. Well, that's kind of cocky, don't you think? <laughs> I heard you lost another partner. I didn't lose him. I shot him. Do you keep track of all your ex-boyfriends? Mm -mm, just your ex-boyfriends. See, I have to keep track of the worst cops so I can take out the trash. Tara, we were 10 years ago. You got to let go of this anger because it's making your boobs droop. Watch it. We don't talk about the mayor's boobs. I'll bet you do. It's fine. It's fine. I just had a meeting with your captain, and he's going to help me keep my city clean. Get rid of the scum. Be good, lover. I just smashed a Pinocchio! Do you know how hard it is to get an actual, authentic, mini ceramic killed, fired in the fucking Netherlands, Pinocchio? Yes, sir. It's why I started drinking. You see, my therapist, my therapist suggested that I started to collect figurines to, to help me with my stress. But it made me nuts. So you know what I do now? I throw them because I feel better when I see their little heads crack open. Well, we are all glad you're in charge, sir. Sit down. You got IA sniffing all over this place because you shot your partner repeatedly. I should just shut you down. You can't shut me down because you can't make something stick, sir. Oh, yes, I can. And I don't give a donkey sack that the mayor is your ex-girlfriend. There you go. As per the mayor, that's your new job. <laughs> Fairness and Disabilities Act. Handicapped cadets. <laughs> <laughs> Handicapped police officers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Are you kidding me? We, the LAPD, are gonna give Wobblies guns? It was a pilot program. They passed all their requirements, but nobody got put on the force. Three years later, the ACLU sued. So, here we are. Hey, very high test scores. Better than you. Technically, they're cops. No, they're not cops. I'm a cop. You know how I know that? Because I don't have to empty my bag every three hours. I'm not doing this. I will not wipe drool and spend three hours a day explaining ceiling fan. You are gonna do this, or I am gonna put you in a parking lot chasing skateboarders from a fucking golf cart. So I'm bone. Like a skeleton getting a lap dance. Mm ah! Don't you dare, only I get to do that. Put it down. Okay, I hit some ice. Do me a favor. Park us someplace nice. Praise your God, Lord of mercy. My mother bore me, my father cursed me. Grand design, time to meet your maker. Go on and shake your money maker. Baby, don't be lazy, come get your paper. Go on and shake your money maker. Walk the little road, see where it gon' take you. Go on and shake your money maker. You look like fried ass. Yeah, because of this, I was up all night flirting with suicide. Flirting? You gotta follow through. All right, come on, you ready for this? You know what, sir? Yeah, I'm ready for this, sure. You know why? Because I was born ready. Holy shit. Make good choices.
Morning. My name is Detective Fowler. <laughs> this is a police station. Today, we are going to find out why you guys want to be police detectives. Now, if you need to go to the bathroom. Don't, don't, don't worry. We're all whoa, 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 wearing the diapers. We can interview what we put for pee. Is that pe puke on your shirt? Huh. I thought that smell was you guys. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, uh, well, you're up. Let's go, Evil Knievel. Perfect. Why do you want to be a detective? The word niche it. I want to take down bad guys. Pow, pow, pow. I'm offended. I outscored everyone in the program. Impressive. What kind of mouthwash is that? Mexican. I'm just a pawn in the 9 11 cover up. Well, I love your enthusiasm. When the shit goes down. I can mount a shotgun to my wheelchair. And fire it by blowing into my tube. No one scores high, high, higher in cr 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 criminology! Now I'm auditioning for the defective detectives! Bureaucratic butt rangers. One more question. Yes. Yes, my penis, my penis still, still works. works. Okay, two more questions. No, I'm up. Shoot him in the face. Can you do a wheelie? Yeah. Don't touch me. I, I don't I don't like to be touched. It makes me weird. Define weird. Do you want me to crawl into your bed at night and make you itch? Beep 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 Bow 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 No This is bullshit! I know everything in the whole world. Thank you for clearing that up. Hi, how did my Alvin do? Oh, it's great. He didn't vomit or masturbate. You should, you should be really, really proud. Thank you for giving them a chance. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the wobblies, honey. I'm fulfilled. We got four yet? Three. And if that is the cream of God's genetic misfires, then God is a vengeful prick. Really Old Testament. Cap, about crashing up in Guterres, and we found their car, and the underside was covered with this red, grainy mud, but no sign of them. What would the lab say? Dirt has a really high percentage of magnesium in lime. By still enrichment. What? By still enrichment, the soil is high in lye and magnesium. <sighs> and dirt. Alvin knows everything. Yeah, he kept telling me that over and over and over. He's read reference books his whole life and has a photographic memory, so if he sees it, he can't forget it. Huh. Oh. Fine. We got four. <laughs> ah! Ah! Shoot him! Hi. He also read every martial arts book ah! he could find. Oh, my, my, oh, mama. Ow. Now, I'm going to poop on him. Sorry about that. His father also got him a subscription to Hustler magazine. He read every one. Probably a mistake. Show them. Honey, look. Okay, we got four. Four? Oh, he almost killed me. I said we got four. 
Okay, Barstow and Richmond, you two check it out. You, come in tomorrow sober enough to fight Rain Man. You think you could count cards? Ah, oh, you're a scumbag. Alvin! Hello? Hey, Madam Mayor Sexy. <laughs> what do you want, Fowler? What I have always wanted. That is so sweet. You're still in charge of the special little soldiers. Oh, come on, retards, Terry, you gave me retards! They like the term disabled, so use it. And Fowler, make this work. Get me good press, or you'll end up painting houses in Silmar. I hate you. Well, then this worked like it was supposed to. Good night. Oh. Tara, wait, no. Listen, you can't do this to me. Tara, I gotta tell you, look, like, look. Hello? Tara! Ah! Ah! God! <laughs> you have too many blue ones anyway. <laughs> wow, only 43 minutes late. Is it Black Friday at the liquor store? Good morning, and no, I am on a natural high and... Vicodin, score. <laughs> Good to see you, sir. And Vicodin caused Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah, okay, listen, um, just so you know, you're the first retarded squad in existence. Whoa, 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 whoa! Fuck you! That's telling him! Finally! I got it! Don't drop a nut. I don't like fighting. Uh, sir, I think some leadership and teamwork is in order. We all know this is just an academic experiment to control and or euthanize us. When do we get our psychoactive medication? What? I had it in basic. Kind of minty. Uh, guys, hey, this is gonna be really weird for me. I mean, you guys have never been normal, but I've never led retards before. God, 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 God damn it! You are so out of line. Yeah! And retards not gonna cut it. I am little person with a gun. She's right, and I was normal. What the hell does that mean, Gimpy? There are 127 words to describe people with disabilities. 127. Eight, nine, 10. All right. Okay, apologies. Today, we learn how to be detectives. Oh, yeah. Finally. Excellent, sir. All right, we're going to start with the basics of police work, you know, tracking cases, organization, mopping, dusting, picking up my dry cleaning. What? 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 What, 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 what? This is bullshit. We're not just janitors. Yeah, and dry cleaning is a Ponzi scheme. You are the worst douchebag I've ever met. Douchebag? The hell is your problem? My problem is I live at ass level! Oh my god, I knew this was gonna happen. I'm living in a retard freak hey, show! I'll tell you what I'm talking about! Yeah, you can freaking freak out! Time retard. to reap the whirlwind! Knock it off! <sighs> okay, okay. You know what? You're not retards. As a matter of fact, you're a spaz, a midget, a cripple. He's a retard. Does that bother you? Because it's what everybody thinks. No matter what lame PC word we use, retard is what we think. <laughs> and if you think handy capable makes a difference, then you're extra special retarded. Now, you guys signed up to be undercover detectives. So either step up and do the job, or step aside, go out there, and be differently abled. Because after a year on the force, dealing with scumbags, crack addicts, murderers, and family law attorneys, Retard is gonna feel like a warm hug from mama. 
I might be a retard, but you, sir, are an a asshole. And I have to live with that every day. I don't get to say that I have a nice deficiency. You know, I don't get to say that I'm etiquette challenged. I am an asshole. And nobody's building me a goddamn ramp. Look, clean my office. Go through the evidence files. If you see something I missed, a case you guys want to go after, we'll do it. You want to be cops? Show me. Why would an asshole need a ram? Is she busy? No, she's not. But she did tell me to say that if you showed up, that I should call our tactical SWAT team, uh, one of them that has a sniper that can hit you with a bullet from the rooftop. <laughs> so then we have a couple minutes. No, wait, Detective Fowler! Seriously, Tara? Mongoloids? My mother's second husband was from Mongolia. Exactly, retards. I'm sorry, Mayor. It's OK. Detective Fowler has never had good manners. I am not the guy for this. You're right, but you are doing it. I couldn't spare anyone with a soul. Listen, I have an election coming up, so if this doesn't work and one of them gets hurt, it's your fault. And the mayor will have to do her job and crucify a bad cop. So it's, uh, it's like a win-win. No, for it to be a win-win, I also have to win. No, I win twice. Do anything else to get even with me, not this. This is so uncomfortable for me. Yeah, well, I think I'm gonna puke. My feelings for you, Fowler, have been dead and buried for some time. I can fix that. Let's have sex one more time. Oh, my God. I replaced you with batteries. Ouch. Go away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we were in love once. Isn't that something? Yeah, until you were inside someone covered with glitter. We are done. You get that? I was the best thing that ever happened to you. Oh, let's don't get crazy. The best thing that ever happened to you! OK, get crazy. And you will never get this again. So now, go and train those little heroes. They've never done anything heroic. They're heroes! And you get me reelected, where I will make an example out of the very, very bad cop. OK. 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 I want you to know something. The man I have become is 100% due to the fact that you were a glacier in the bedroom. Your icy vagina ruined me. I had to name my penis Titanic. Wow, look at that. I insulted you and complimented myself. Oh! That was a win-win. Uh, Mayor, you have a photo off with the little cuties from Boy Scout Troop 19 at 1 p.m. I'll push it to 1.30. We talked to the heavy cops, great. God damn it, handy capable my ass. Cops gotta be perfect, you know? What's the matter, Father? You having trouble keeping up with the Avengers? <laughs> yeah, Father. How are the retards, huh? You get a lot of practice uh, wiping other people's butts? They like cheese puffs, right? Mongols love cheese puffs. <laughs> Garrett's here. Wow. I was expecting an insurance fire. Wow. Guys, I gotta tell you. I just got something. 
So did we. He said step up. We found a case. Definitely guilty. This guy's a real ass clown. What is it? Guys, these are my phone bills. And what? <laughs> my car registration for LA Dream Cars? You got a hell of a deal on that charger, sir. A new Hemi RT is worth what? 40 grand? And you p p paid nothing. And the salesman, Mike, was up on a rape charge that got suddenly dropped. <laughs> it was assault. It was a lease. Oops. We tracked some of the phone numbers. The highlighted ones, you got some pretty shady buddies, buddy. Are those drug dealers your friend? Uh, they are my CIs. <laughs> According to the department, sir, they're not on your informant list. You're supposed to pay informants. Why are informants paying you? And your bank account has some r weird, w weird deposits. Who's Lou? I want to know who Julio is. How the hell did you get into my bank? Oh, it wasn't hard. Password to Kila, all caps. How'd you get that? Logic, due diligence, and you wrote it on a post-it note stuck to your computer. What kind of dumbass leaves records for his criminal activity in his office? Just got the car. I just kind of threw it in, you know? I didn't really even, oh, you guys really did organize this. Chronologically and by how much jail time you'll do. Well, great job, guys. You are cadets in training, and I put something out for you to find, and you found it. What do you think you got here? A dirty cop, you retard. Those phone records connect you to four convicted felons. The free car is two tons of proof. Oh, they love cops in county. An average human colon can smuggle three cell phones. Uh, <laughs> guys, this is just some phone bills and handwritten notes. It's not even evidence. Alvin? State of California versus Terrence Phelps, convicted and sentenced to 15 years based on phone records. State of California versus Peter Mancuso, convicted and sentenced to 15 years based on handwritten notes. State of California versus Michael Sarah All Pili right. What do you want? What we were promised. We want to be cops. Yeah, and if you got in, it should be a cakewalk for us. But we want to be real police officers. No bullshit. Or... You could smuggle cell phones in your ass for cigarettes. We give them beep boop beep. No, no, you guys can't be cops. You don't have the motor skills, you don't have the ability. Wrong, we are cops. We passed every test. This is discrimination and you are the Ku Klux Klan. Not a chance. <laughs> Great, guys, let's go. If we can't be cops, neither can you. Uh, Captain Wynn's office is 113, right? Guys, wait, wait, no, no. All right, all right, stop. God, fucking, seriously? Unbelievable. <laughs> what, a, what a damn day. Fine, you want me to teach you to, teach you to be cops? Fine, but I'm gonna show you how little you know. And the only reason you guys are here is because they're a bunch of wobbly, gimpy spaz balls. And now I gotta go find a short bus with a siren. Unbelievable. God. Fuck. Perfect. Ah! I like his new attitude. <laughs> this is the department's firing range. Today, we're gonna train like real cops. I am videotaping you all with a high-speed camera to show you how bad you suck. Because I don't want you to be real cops. Instead, I'd like you guys to be working at a large box store, greeting people, or <laughs> making stuffed animals in small windowless rooms. You are so hey, is the box store shaped like a box or did it sell box? Shut up! Now this is a bullet. On its own, it is inert, docile, and unlikely to kill. But it needs its best friend, the semi-automatic pistol. Now, a bullet doesn't kill unless a semi-automatic pistol makes it go very, very fast.
But once you are holding a loaded weapon in your hand, things change dramatically. Now, the gun becomes the bullet and you become the gun. Got it? Sorry, am I the gun or the bullet? You're the bullet. No, the gun is the bullet and he's the gun. I, I thought the gun was the gun. Oh, this is stupid. I get it. And I get it. Let's just shoot. Mac? Five out of six, not bad, you missed one. Here's how I remember it. Take your time and shoot the guy in the spine. <sighs> Sophie, you're up. Didn't hit one. Just shows no matter how tough you are, she still can't hit the broad side of a barn with another barn. There you go. At the end of the day, you've got to learn what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, then you just got to stop talking. To That's a pass. Alvin, pick your poison. Well, you only hit one, but it was a killer. I hit all six. I only see one hole. Went through the same hole. Alvin, everybody misses sometimes. I didn't miss! Listen, this Mongo temper tantrum thing is not gonna work with me. You really think you put them all through one hole? <laughs> Fine. Let's go to the high speed video and show you how bad you really suck. I always win the carnival. Morgan, you're up. Okay, I got you framed up, buddy. Uh, can you control it? Okay, aim at the top. Okay, uh, you know what, Morgan, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. I got this. And the LAPD is proud to be on the front line of cyber wars, international espionage, and drug trafficking. But our bread and butter, where LA leads the world, is in pedophiles. Is in catching pedophiles. Now, this isn't easy, kids. It takes a long time, sometimes days, weeks, even months, just to Done. Get... What the hell is this? NORAD. Do you want me to get some launch codes? Long shot, but it'll take me a bit of time. Turn it off. It's OK. They can't see us. I've routed through 14 different international servers. They'll think we're North Korea. That's bad. Go! Everybody out! Everybody out! Go, 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 go! God! Oh, I don't want to welcome you guys to the Van Nuys PD investigative training room. Look around, observe, tell me what you see, kids. Alvin, what do you got? It was bad. Very bad. Oh, 
Okay. Mac, what do you got? Love triangle, lying, cheating. Oh yeah, I've lived this. The woman shot first, of course. She winged this guy who loved her more than life itself, but he was just half a man. And then when her other lover tried to run because he can, she killed him. So no witnesses, but we know what you did, Marie. <laughs> Sick bitch shredded me. <laughs> Well, that was frightening and complicated and totally inaccurate. Morgan, what do you got? Dr drug deal gone b b bad. That guy still has crack in his hands. Everyone started shooting at once, and the last one alive wanted to make ID impossible. Po Money, drugs left on the sea. We're looking for a j -j -j junkie. That's exactly what I had him set up. Oh my, you have a knack. But you know what? You really shouldn't talk. All right, Sophie, what do you got? These guys are drug dealers and junkies, right, Morgan? I b b bet on it. I know what he knows. I want to know what you know. I think it's a suicide. What? Crackhead, junkie murder, circle jerks. Ain't worth my time. I've got citizens to protect. Tag them, bag them, chuck them in a landfill. Gentlemen, take note. That's a cop. Welcome to the Van Nuys Police Training Center. Today I'll be your instructor, Sensei, Nick Kahana. I'm gonna be teaching you how to defend yourself on the streets of Los Angeles, which is not an easy feat. You, get up. Garrett Fowler, heard about your new job, bro. Oh. Everybody, this is Nick Kahana. Tell them the rest. Van Nuys PD hand-to-hand -hand combat and martial arts expert, Nick Kahana. Nick Kahana has worked very hard. So Nick Kahana deserves respect. So which one of the slow class, short bus, tending the rabbits dummies does Nick Kahana have to take out first. Uh, 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 I'm good. Nick Kahana will take out the biggest guy here. I already kicked Garrett Fowler's ass. Choked him out like I was his daddy. Remember that, Garrett Fowler? Yeah, Nick, I remember. It took me a couple weeks to remember, but I remember. Hey, Alvin, do you want some more training? I already know everything in the whole world. Well, Nick Kahana is gonna teach you something new. Okay. I like that last move. Why is he doing it? Gotta touch him. Uh, hey, Nick. Maybe you shouldn't. Just touch him? Come on, Nick. Now, I'm going to poop on him. Alvin! Congratulations! 
Hey, Garrett, as much as I don't trust you or the NRA or coconut water, I realize that you've helped us all. Here, this is from everyone. And uh, I disarmed the C4 under your charger, so no worries. <laughs> That's mildly unnerving. Holy crap, there's a watch. Thanks. Good news is tomorrow, you guys get your first real assignments. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I got a question though. What the hell do I call you guys? I like Spartacus. No, I just mean there's so many different words. Disabled, differently able. It's not my name. You might as well call me Jim. Exactly. So you're cool with Gimp. Well, you know, my favorite is Wobblies. That one has the nice light tone. It's kind of a Muppety feel to it. Wobblies. I'll work on it when I'm in the head. I got to go, too. Hey, hey, make it look like you're pissing, not jerking off. Gary, yeah, what do I do? do? I hold your dick still. Buy a hose clamp. I don't know. No, about Sophie. Uh, I wouldn't touch her dick. She's giving me the vibe, and would I get in trouble for, for fooling around with her? Oh, dude, if you're getting a vibe, what do I care? You know, go for it. And stop t tapping my foot. Hilarious. Wash your hands! I had a great time with you tonight. Hey, you didn't stutter. Yeah, if I were an alcoholic, I could be pr pr president. <laughs> mm. You know, Garrett, he treats us like... Like real people, no kick gloves. Like he's kind of a dick. Sophie, we are who we are. We screw up at once, we go back to beating the joke. I don't want to be the joke. I don't want to be the retard. And what I'm scared most of is not being seen at all. I see you, Morgan. Your mind is so sexy, Morgan. And the rest of me? It's pretty sexy, too. Come here, big boy. Yeah! Uh. Oh my gosh, are you okay? I'm good. That's why I walk this way. <laughs> Captain, you all right? You scared us, sir. <laughs> we're, we're ready to be stop. Father, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. Okay, okay. You wanna be real cops? All right, well, <clears throat> as per the mayor, here is your new assignment. <laughs> oh, I hate when he says as per the mayor. <laughs> Get her out of my office. Uh oh. Shut up! Guys, sometimes you have to do what you have to do.
Look, Pigeon! Shut up, Balvin! We are not going in there without protection. This is not our required equipment. The mayor said we are the face of the force. Alvin, he's giving us guns. Damn straight. Listen, we are about to enter one of the most dangerous places in America. Anything can happen here. And to go in unarmed would be suicide. You guys got your game faces on? Heck yeah. yeah. Let's do this. Do you know how bad school was for me? And me. The school is where most lifetime psychosis is created. Yeah, man. So I became a cop to get even with these douchebags. I remember thinking, oh, you pricks, if I had a gun. <laughs> I got better. Went to the 10 year reunion. Everybody was all methy and had these Walmart bodies. I win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I love school. I was on track team, volleyball, homecoming king, debate team, gymnastics, science club. Oh, plus, I double teamed my French and English teachers. School was awesome. <laughs> hey, little help here. Call your English teacher. Oh, aren't they just adorable? Uh, they're police officers, ma'am. Oh, come on. Not really. <sighs> what do you want us to do? Can the midget dance? No, the midget can't dance. But it can punch you in the box. Oh, my. <laughs> Sorry. She's a little bit grumpy. She was up late last night making shoes. Yeah, and my Cabbage Patch underwear keeps riding up. OK. I'll just introduce you. Gary, this is boom, boom, boom. I know. Look, guys, just be good cops, all right? We'll go out there, inspire the kids, tell them to say no to drugs and pedophiles, and then we'll get drunk and find a strip club, OK? Yeah. All right. Kids, I know you're eagerly anticipating, so without further waiting, I'd like to introduce some of Los Angeles's finest Special officers. Hey, kids. Uh, my name's Detective Fowler. I'd like to introduce you to the special unit of the Los Angeles Police Department. We are, uh, a team. Let's hear it from Mac. Let's meet our special officer, Sophie. Watch this, little bitches. Ta-da! So now let's welcome Officer Morgan. Alvin, give me your gun. OK. No, 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 Jimmy. I got this. Hi, kids. Guns aren't cool. They're awesome! <laughs> but you have to know what you're doing. Susie! Michael! We're going to Disneyland, and your mother's not coming with us! <laughs> Alvin? Hello. I know everything in the whole world. 
Oh yeah? How about 5,842 times 280? 1,635,760. We are trained professionals, so kids don't do this at home. Do it in the field. Away from your parents. Would you like to see Alvin shoot an apple off our boss's head? Fight me, you big gimpy spaz ball. He never misses. So, uh, so you're not gonna shoot a gun in here, right? Oh. Uh, uh, the bullets are actually school approved. Use my gun, I trust it. destroying their innocence. Morgan, call it in. This is Officer Morgan. We, we have a Give me that. It's Officer Garrett Fowler. We have a 246 at the Anne Frank Elementary School. Send SWAT, send a helicopter, everything you got. Learn to speak English. She doesn't love me anymore. That's what she said. Susie! Michael! Dad? That's your dad? Yeah. Mac, take care of them. Mike, Susie, get over here. It's Michael, not Mike. Get over here now! Mom and Dad are getting divorced. It's OK. Don't worry. We got this. Kids, get on stage now. Get on stage now. Go, go. He's coming down the hallway. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Close the curtains now. It's okay. It's okay. You know, my parents were together 40 years. <laughs> ah. But this is good, too. All right, Matt, get him out of here. Let's go, guys. What about the other kids? This could scar them forever. I got it. <laughs> and that, kids, is why you should always, always question everything. The world is a place that will look you in the face and lie to you. It'll tell you everything is safe when nothing ever is. So pay attention. Trust no one. And maybe, just maybe, you won't get shivved in a gas station bathroom before you're 30. 
Got it? Oh, no way. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Hello, Captain. Live ammo in a school? Sir, they stopped a shooter. You are fired! You're fired! Captain, nobody even got hurt. Would you be happy if somebody got killed? Fowler, you're a disease. You're like human Ebola. You know, when you're around, people's eyes bleed and their bowels liquefy. You know what? You know what? I'm happy. Because I knew you would fail. In my office tomorrow, 8 a.m. You're over. Captain, wait. Ca God! Ah. Uh, could somebody please get me an evidence bag? Alvin, wait. <laughs> now I'm going to poop on him. Alvin! Alvin! Uh, Alvin! <laughs> that is some good coffee, Alvin. That is some gourmet shit. I don't need you. Tell me how effing good my coffee is, okay? I know how good it is. I'm the one who buys it. Bonnie goes shopping. She buys shh, poop. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. But you know what's on my mind right now? I need the coffee in my kitchen. It's the dead Negro in my garage. What the hell, Alvin? He's doing Pulp Fiction. What? Pulp Fiction, the kitchen scene from Pulp Fiction. Alvin, do you remember everything? Pulp Fiction, directed by Quentin Tarantino, shot in 1993, released in 1994. Alvin's seen the movie once. Watch. Which wallet's yours? It's the one that says bad mother effer. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, Alvin. It's my favorite movie. Classic. Open it up. What? Take it out. Count it. How much is in there? Oh, my God. He's still doing it. Hey, Alvin. Here. We're, we're ready to be real cops. Yeah, no lying. This time we want a real case, not some publicity stunt. Hey, hey, you're doing so well right now. Why don't we just keep everything as it is? Uh, I knew a cool cop sold us out. Cool. Have you met me? I can't sleep unless I'm hammered. I steal, I cheat, I lie, I do what I have to do, which is what you guys should do. You also take protection money from drug dealers. Once a con man, always a con man. You know what? I took a job with the melon heads. One of them can't reach a high shelf. Another one can't say a word with the letter B in it. Stop, don't hurt yourself. Another one can't chase a bank robber unless he's got ramp access. And this one is just a violent fetish having Wikipedia page. You can't teach the disabled to be cops. Just wear your badges, smile for the kids, cash your checks, and shut up. So it was a lie. We were never gonna be cops? Wow, you suck, sir. I thought you were a good guy, Garrett. You're a class A loser. Garrett lied. Hitler lied. Okay. I will talk to the captain again. And he'll say no again. Get out of my home, melonheads. And everything. They're trained. They'd be amazing undercover. Nobody would ever suspect them. Look what they did at that school. I did tell you you were fired, right? You took unqualified rookie cadets to a school shooting. The school shooting came to us. You fired live rounds into a school. That is Olympic level stupid. You are done. Over. And I am glad. 
Give me your gun. Oh, er, hi. Uh, sorry to bug you guys. Margie, get out! Okay, but Detective Fowler needs to be at a press conference in five minutes. It's the mayor's orders. Okay, let's move our heinies! I gotta go see the mayor. I want them in front of the camera talking about how great this department is. Hell no! They're about to be undercover detectives. We can't put their pictures on television. That would be... that would be retarded. He's got a point, Mayor. We can't do it. If you were mayor, you'd do it. You're right, I'd do it. We can't do it! I want those little spazzies in the press room in five, or I will set you both on fire. Uh, give me 20. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here. Um, I am pleased to announce that the definition of police officer has changed today. These officers are in disguise to hide their identities. Now, police work has gone to the next level. It's Detective 2.0. Now, these officers, they may be considered disabled, but that word has a broad definition. Um, being emotionally vacant, lacking in morals, lying, could all be considered disabilities. But these officers right here stopped a school shooting. They are capable of anything a normal, morally bankrupt, alcoholic -y, impotent officer is. This is Michael Pace. He's responsible for the school shooting. He is a father going through a bitter divorce. Now, breakups, as we all know, can be hard and sometimes make you psychotic and stupid. But he is undergoing psychiatric evaluation, which I think is a great idea when you have darkness in your soul. So we are here to congratulate and thank these very brave officers. And I am pleased to introduce their training officer. Give him a hand. Hello, sorry for the disguises, but we're trying to protect the identities of our officers. I'd like to take the first question. A lot of people are saying that this is just a publicity tool. Really? You think it's a publicity tool. Why don't you ask an officer who is actually in a wheelchair if it's a publicity tool? Uh, do you mean a publicity tool like the moon landing or, or gluten? Then no. Thank you very much. Next question. Who's the toughest one? I mean, the most capable. I mean, you know, the least disabledness. That would be me. It was my idea to go, 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 go after the t t target, and my t t team f f f followed. Uh, b b b b b b bullshit. This idiot would be dead if I weren't there. Hey, 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 hey! Knock it off. Any other questions? Obviously, there's no team feeling yet, but what does it feel like to be the first disabled police squad? How does it feel to be a reporter after the internet killed your job? Shut up. No, you shut up. Guys, oh, you guys, stop. Stop. Just shut it. Just knock it off. You guys got to stop. Knock it off. Knock it off. Knock it off. You guys got to get the mayor's right here, you idiot. Elvis has left the building. Knock it off. Hello. 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 I'm Batman. Oh, shit. First of all, our nation cannot tolerate discrimination of any kind. That's why the Americans with Disabilities Act is so important and must be honored everywhere. It is a civil rights law that's tearing down barriers. Its purpose is to give the disabled access not only to buildings, but to every opportunity in society. I strongly believe our nation must give its full support to the caregivers who are helping people with disabilities of independent lives. When we put our minds to a problem, we can usually find solutions. But America has a tradition many nations probably envy and frequently achieve the impossible. That's what got us from 
one coast to another. So God is the largest economy in the world. So God is to the moon. President Roosevelt showed us that a man could barely lift himself out of a wheelchair could still lift a nation out of despair. And I believe it too. And so does this administration. And the most important principle FDR taught us, America does not let its needy citizens fend for themselves. America is stronger when all of us take care of all of us. Giving new life to that ideal is the challenge for us tonight. I'm here to protect you. Thank you very much. I'm Batman. That <clears throat> was the most touching thing I've ever heard in my life. Is there any more questions? What the hell was that? That was, that was incredible, brilliant. Christopher Reeves, Democratic National Convention, 1996. Superman couldn't walk. That's brilliant! <laughs> You're touching me. Oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry! It's okay, I won't poop on you. Alvin, you gotta promise me you're not gonna read Hustler magazine anymore. Okay. Alvin, great job. P -p 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 Perfect. Pretty impressive, dumbass. They just may keep us around after all. So, do we get to be cops now? Fowler, in my office now. I think that's a no. This is bullshit. Hey, Mayor. Whatever you have to say, you can say it to my partners. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you little school shooting stopping heroes, you're going to go to every school in my district. You're gonna make a change in every one of those sweet little kids. Some more of the same do nothing fake cop crap, Garrett. Yeah, they stopped a mass shooting and you wanna make them clowns at kids parties? I can't risk them getting hurt. That would be a public relation nightmare for me. For you. Unless, detective, you would like to be fired for bringing live weapons into a gun-free zone. What a ba 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 Stop. Just finish it. Bitch! We earned our badges. Yes, you did, and you will wear them proudly in the schools. She's right. Guys? We should just proudly go back inside and talk to all the reporters and let them know how full of shit our mayor really is. Oh, watch it. No, you watch it. These guys did what only 3% of the population could do. They stopped the mass shooting. They're cops. They are my partners. And I will walk back in that room and I will talk to any reporter who will listen and tell them what the real deal is with our mayor. Or you can just give them a real assignment. Or we take the press a story about a condescending, lying, deal-breaking mayor. Who screwed over a bunch of little disabled heroes. That Batman isn't needed here. <laughs> I love these guys. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, fine, fine. You are real cops, but you will dance for your badges. Oh, one more thing. You have to take Garrett to dinner. What? No. no, it's not negotiable. Fine. Okay, chick for loser. Tuesday. And don't expect anything. You either. <laughs> really, guys? You're listening to KWRD, The Word. And coming up at the top of the hour, we have DJ Sully Stone, who's going to be interviewing some of Los Angeles' most special. What we're going to do is we're just kind of ease into this today. I'm going to talk to you all about what it's like to be an undercover cop in the face of a disability. Is that all right? Sure. Good. All right, so let's go ahead and put on our headsets. All right, everyone good? All right, let's get to it then. I'm going to count it down in three, two, one. 
you're tuned in to KWRD, the word, all talk radio. Sully in the house with you here. And <laughs> Joining me in the studio today, I have got an amazing group of undercover police officers, and I have never seen anything like this. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, now, now, they're cops, but I feel like I just, I just stepped into a Final Fantasy video game. I got my elf, my gargoyle, my wizard on the wheels, and a mutant. Thank you. What is it like to be a police officer and to serve the public? Uh, it's great. We get to do something no one's ever done before, and being the first disabled Yeah, that's what I want to talk about. Do you prefer midget, elf, or dwarf? Actually, we I actually... Know, hold that. You're listening to KWRD, and we got the mutant cops and Sully. Oh, my gosh. That was great, guys. Super opening. Thank you. God, you look so gorgeous. Relax, this is a meal, not a future. I'm sorry what I did to us. I should never have done it. I screwed up our relationship, and you were everything to me. You were my princess, you were my queen. You were my Beyonce. Garrett, again, this is dinner, not foreplay. I just wanted to show my appreciation for everything that you did with the special ones. You don't know their names, do you? Yes, I know their names. Really? Yes. Okay, so you have mm -mm, Mac. Mac. Uh-huh. And then there's more Morgan. Morgan. Uh-huh. And there's so Sophie. Sophia. Uh. Ah. And then there's Al. There's Albert. Alvin. <laughs> I never thought I would be sitting across from you again unless it was at my execution. And I didn't think I would say this either but I want to thank you for giving me this assignment, job, whatever you want to call it. Because, uh, I have to be honest, those guys, they're pretty amazing. So you're telling me the word retard is offensive to you? <laughs> Only if used as an insult, like, I think the way you talk on the radio is retarded. The way you think of disabled people is retarded, so hence, you would be a retard. You are not sounding like this city's tiny little disabled heroes. Mm. No, 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 Let me get this straight. You guys think retard is the same as the N-word? Actually, if you've read your history, you would know that the U.S. has never enslaved disabled people. And they never would whipped them at the spe Special Olympics. But it would have made the competition a lot more fierce, am I right? right. Eh? You mother We're gonna be back right after this word from our sponsors. Phenomenal, guys. Phenomenal. Uh, I had it all, man. I had the golden boobs and I blew it. Goose. Golden goose. What'd I say? Boobs. That too. And I know that you gave me this job because you wanted me to screw it up so you could fire me. You're right to think that. I should have been fired. Garrett, what is this? It's the man I became after the best thing in my life left. Garrett, these are drug dealers. Top guys. And the numbers next to them are what they paid me for protection. How long have you been doing this? Long enough to do time. A lot of it. And hey, I'll do it. But I want you to promise to make them real cops. Real cops. That's all they want, Tara. They just want to be cops. I can't even remember when that was enough for me. So if you'll do that, I'll take the heat and I'll get out of your life. What kind of dumbass keeps records of this criminal activity? The, the little heroes put it together. And I still have an out. You know, I would just say I was long-term, deep undercover, and then when the records came out, that would just be reason reasonable doubt. doubt. There's my little prosecutor. But I'm not gonna cover my ass anymore. Burn this. No, I'm coming clean. Do you have any idea what I had to do to become mayor of Van Nuys? Well, some of it involves my boobs. Hi. Look. I just want you to know I'm sorry. Oh, God! Stop saying that or I will vomit right here. Are you done with this? Yes. 
Yes, I promise. I called him and I told him. I'm a real cop again. Come on, I'm a real cop again. Let's go to a movie and get some popcorn like we used to. I will get the car. <laughs> OK. <laughs> and I will get the check. Isn't this nothing but a publicity ploy by the mayor to get more votes? Wow, how insightful. Don't you usually interview strippers? Actually, no, your mom hasn't been in recently. Huh? Hey, you better listen up here, Gimpy. I got two million listeners, and an attitude like that's gonna get you hurt. Morgan? Oh, but no, no, no. Carl, you're on the air. What do you got for me? Uh, that's a question for the midget. Really? Listen, is Santa an asshole or not? That's a good question. And also, did he get medical in the Lollipop Guild? Alvin, now. <laughs> oh, b b b b b b b They make the draw, and it's getting close. So if you want in on the money and uh, want a great Tara, watching week deal, this radio douchebag is really on. Where to be. What? Come say hi Sunday when I'm on location at Waterloo Ford Lincoln at 100. Okay, where are you? <laughs> okay, we'll be there just a second. We gotta go. I'm so, 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 Blood on the ground, so 13 children, tire tracks. He was knocked out by a big dude. They took his car. He had kale and goat cheese. If we can get the camera feed, we can see who took him. New security cameras are wireless, easily hacked. Well, if you're me. <laughs> That's his car. Who the hell is that? I don't know. I'm going to track him. How? The watch I gave him has a GPS locator and a short-range Bluetooth microphone. Wow. What else can it do? It's also a watch. Wow. Yeah, I also have cameras at his apartment. If you don't watch everybody, you can get Can I we please just go find Garrett? Oh, yeah, let's find Garrett. Good. You're undercover. And you actually wear a Van Nuys PD t shirt. All my white ones got puke on them. You protect these guys, you give them information, but you try and bust me. I still have to be a cop, right? Someone has to go down. You're the new guy, you get the winning lottery ticket. <laughs> oh. And now you think you're not gonna help us anymore, I see? No more protection from Detective Garrett Fowler. <laughs> no way. We own you, Holmes. Julio, with your credit rating, you really can't own anything. <coughs> no! God! We're not going to let you, Holmes. Hmm? You're our inside guy. We need you. You keep helping us, or you'll end up like those two cops I buried up in Barstow. Huh? Garrett, we've been friends a long time. Oh. Why you never not want to be my friend no more now? I think we can all agree it's your grammar. Okay, you got a gun? No, no, no. Good. I got a, a knife. All right. Is that a sh shotgun? Yeah. Full of salt. Twice the load of my old one. Sexy. <laughs> That was incredible. How'd you do that? Pressure points. <gasps> Uh-oh. <gasps> that was incredible. Yeah.
What the hell is this? You put everything in here, puto? Everything we ever did? Everything we ever paid you for? What kind of dumbass keeps records of all his criminal activity like this? Once a cop, always a cop. He was setting us up. No. It was a gift from my girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. You gave your girlfriend evidence about our criminal activity. Well, you know, I thought if I gave her the evidence and I would go to jail and she would love me again. Love is a fickle mistress, Holmes. I can say this. It was good while it lasted. I remember when you called me and you said we were over. It hurt. You said you didn't want to see me anymore and we should go our separate ways. And here I see you with a folder. A folder about us. Go wash my car! And for that, you die, cop! Gunshots. Like our shots. Kill them! Not today! Ah! <laughs> God damn it, Morgan! Johnny! What is this? Maybe he's not a cop. LAPD! You are under arrest! A cripple, a midget, and whatever the hell is wrong with him? This is your backup bowler? He doesn't even have a gun! Shut up! You're dead, Gimp! Alvin! Their names are Mac, Morgan, and Sophie. My name is Alvin. Nice to meet you. <laughs> ah! Oh no! Oh, 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 now. <laughs> now I'm pissed. Alvin, if he moves, I want you to shoot him in the eye. I got it. The left eye. My left or he is left. Dealer's choice. My left. Well, Julio, <laughs> looks like you ah, have four attempted murder charges. <laughs> You're really ambitious, aren't you? Well, all that evidence is evidence against you, too. I hope you're in the cell next to me, puto. Yeah, well. You probably get your wish. You fell her. Oh. Finally feel like a real cop. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. LAPD! How are everybody freeze? Fowler! Captain, what the hell are you doing here? Well, the mayor called. What's going on? Bad guys doing bad guy stuff. This whole place is just full of evidence. So is that folder. Get him out of here. Uh, Captain? That, that's nothing. That's just my evidence. Oh, yeah. It sure looks like it is. Hey, where the hell's Alvin? Right here. Alvin took those first three guys out with Max help. The two dead guys. That was all Sophie. And this side just got, I got stabbed in the shoulder. And that was all, all me. The hell is that smell? And what is on his chest? That's our calling card, sir. That's our calling card. The 
You're kind of disgusting. Yeah. Sir, there it is. Thank you. Father, do you know when your faith in God is renewed? Not even a little bit. When something happens that you've been praying for. Do you know what this is? Sir, it's, it's just... It's a 10-year prison sentence for a cop who I knew was dirty, but I couldn't prove it. I've already called IA. I might even put you in custody tonight. In fact, Garrett Fowler. You have the right to remain silent. Captain, I need Detective Gary. Right now, the mayor called an emergency press conference. Oh, Detective Fowler's unavailable. He's about Ooh, to... Oh, she told me to grab this. I have to go see the mayor again. <laughs> this city owes a big debt to the officers behind me. They stopped a menace to the city. Let's give them a big hand. Now, these officers stopped three drug dealers that were terrorizing the city of Van Nuys and its citizens. Garrett Fowler has been working this case for 10 years undercover. The evidence is ironclad. These criminals are going to go away for a very, very long time. Now, some criminals never go to jail for the horrible, horrible things that they do. But because of Detective Fowler and his partners, Van Nuys is a safer place to live. Let's give him another hand. Yes, he is the best. Just gets better and better every day, right? Yeah, better every day. You do need to get a room. Well, we are. Well, yeah. The underground bunkers are placed around the country. Uh, Denver Airport, under Tesla Motors factory and Giants Stadium. Oh, did they embed the chip in your arm yet? I cut mine out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait. Wait, you can check for yourself. Women can't live with them, can't live without them. Can't bake cookies with them, can't take them to men's bathroom. Hi, Alvin. Hi, Margie Pretty. Pretty's not my last name. <laughs> yes, it is. <gasps> wow. I canceled my subscription to Hustler magazine. Uh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, hi. We are just so proud of you. Is it okay if my son says hi? Hi, I'm Billy, and I want to be a detective just like you and shoot bad guys. Bing, bing, bing! Gone! You guys working with Make-A-Wish now? <laughs> LAPD is a carnival freak show. The worst. <laughs> Good job, officers. Have a safe night. What the hell happened to the car? I upgraded. Badass. Morgan? Yeah. You're driving. Let's roll. Oh. Wait! God, you idiots. Stay on my mind Everything 
short, the grind is long. Some of my very best friends are gone. My hustle's strong, my money's all spent on buying bitches, titties, and drugs and rent. Work a double shift grind, I can't save a dime. My daughter needs to sell a just He's also naked, so basically he came after me with two hammers. <laughs> I gotta say that after working with you guys for four weeks, I'm still pretty sure you idiots are gonna get me killed, but I'm impressed. Damn right you are. You should be. Hello, what would you like? I'm gonna have the Baja burrito and a bud. And may I say, you are a saint for working with these kind of people. Them and their kind, they have every right to be out in public, no matter how bad they creep people out. Yeah. So, what do they have? Stop it! Stop your tantrum right now. You guys, I am tired of your tantrums. I will not have you guys destroy this place. D destroy? Yeah, I take them on these trips all the time to get them out in public so they don't act like those people. Like you said, I know what you're talking about. And they have trashed every place I have taken them to, and I am tired of it. This is a very, very, very nice lady, and she does not need a bunch of gimps messing her place up. Oh my. Do you got it? Can, can you stop it? Well, as long as you don't use their trigger word. What, it, what is it? Starts with an R and ends with a D. R-E-D, R-E-D, oh, retard. <laughs> so unpredictable. Apologies for our rude behavior. We were uh, uh, unconscious. Sorry. Yeah, I, I know that everybody left, and they probably didn't tip. I'm really, so this, all of it, is for you. Sorry you had to deal with those people. Looking up the 
Everybody's looking, but they don't. Don't see me. They look right through me. Everybody's looking, but they don't. Don't see.